This is my IPA filtration system that I built for my Form Labs Form 3 Plus machine. And since that video a couple of months ago, people have left some amazing comments and ideas and upgrades to this system. So the time has come to make those modifications to make this system even better. My name is Eric Stribel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Do you ever get home with all your things, but you have nowhere to set them? So it all just ends up in an ugly, disorganized, and hard to work with pile like this, causing you unneeded stress? Well, don't let it ruin your life. Get an Alfred backpack hanger today. Did you know this episode's sponsor, PCB Way, offers injection molding services, including plastic molding, liquid silicone rubber, as well as insert and over molding. They offer a wide range of plastic materials from hard to soft and flexible varieties. Additionally, they offer a wide range of SPI mold surface finishes as well. Check them out for your next project. Link in the description below. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of the system and the changes that we're going to make to the components in the system so that you can follow along during the video. All right, so the IPA comes in from the wash tank right here, and I've already replaced the original vinyl tubing with some silicone tubing as that was giving me issues already with it starting to harden up. So the silicone tubing is the first upgrade that I've already made. Currently, the motor is mounted upside down. So if there were to be a leak, the IPA would leak into the motor. And so we're gonna invert that and we're gonna move it to a different part of the system. This is vinyl. I'm not sure how much of a UV block is in this vinyl. But eventually, this vinyl is going to start to degrade and crack from the IPA as well. And so this loop needs to be replaced. Down here, we have the filters. And I thought it'd be a great idea to have these clear filter housings. But over time, they've actually started to crack right here. And that's a problem as we don't want that to leak. And so these need to be replaced with different housings so that we don't have any issues. If you haven't watched the first video, go and watch that first to get a basic understanding of the system. The first change that I'm gonna make is we're gonna change that vinyl tubing in the top to an FEP tubing. This is a fluoropolymer tubing. And FEP has excellent UV transmission capabilities, meaning it will allow the UV light to pass through it. I need to form it and it's relatively stiff kind of stuff. So what I have here is I have a boiling bucket of water and I'm putting the FEP tubing into this water to, to heat it up and to curve it so I can make it into a loop because it came actually from China folded in lengths. And I was not happy about that. It be, and the reason for that is because it's difficult to fold this. So I've let that cool down and I have kinks in the tubing. And of course you can't have that. We need good continuous flow. So here I'm taking a heat gun and heating it up and trying to take those kinks out. Finally, I came up with the idea of basically hydroforming this and hooking some pressure up to this. I filled the tubes with water and here I'm slowly rising the pressure up to 60 PSI. And I'm sure this is very dangerous to have a pot of boiling hot water and a pressurized tube inside of it, but that worked really well. It's dangerous at your own risk do that, but that's how I formed my FEP tubing into this perfect coil. 
I'm using some copper wire here to basically hold the strands together and make a coil that, you know, stacks on top of each other. Creating a perfect coil of that FEP tubing was probably the hardest part of the entire build. Now I'm draining the IPA out of the filters and it would be really nice to have valves on the bottom of those. And we'll add those later in the video and that'll make changing the filters much, much easier. So for right now, we'll just take everything apart and then we'll reassemble it in a different order to what I think will be a better setup than what I have right now. All right, I'm gonna put the motor at the bottom. And of course, I'm gonna link to all of this stuff on Amazon. So if you wanna build yourself something like this, you can. I have 3D printed a hanger. This is what I will hang the FEP tubing coil on. I'm going to reuse the top part of the housings here as put some different fittings on it since the system uh, is running in a little bit different direction than it was before. So I don't need straight connectors. By the way, all the tubing and connectors that I'm using, everything here is half inch. And that's based on uh, the tubing size mainly. So all this tubing that I'm using is half inch. The pump comes with half inch connectors on it and everything. So it's just easy to buy everything in half inch tubing. If you're in Europe, you'll want to look for, you know, some sort of an easy tubing size. That's a metric equivalent of that. And it just makes every hooking everything up easy if it's all the same size. Um, the silicone tubing is very easy to connect to these barb fittings because it's soft. And so I'm just using a hose clamp to clamp everything down. The vinyl tubing was actually kind of tough. Some of them you really had to crank down on the hose clamps to get it to seal. But the silicone tubing is very easy to seal. The FEP seals pretty good on those um, hose barbs as well. Let's go ahead and drill out the bottom of the filter housings and then tap those so that we can add the fittings. Now I would have put this into my drill press here and then turned in the tap by hand. It's a half inch NPT thing, but it didn't fit into my chuck. So I had to do it manually. And then these are the on and off uh, valves with barb fittings on them that I'm going to attach to the bottom of these filter housings. And this will just allow me to open and close these filters uh, and change them and replace them very easy to, to drain the IPA right out of there into uh, a bucket or a container. Let's hook up some silicone tubing to the outlet of the pump here at the bottom, and that's the return to go back into the tank. I'm just putting some screws into the cart here, into this work cart. If you haven't seen that video, there's a video about building this work cart for this uh, Form Labs Form 3 Plus um, printer, and you can check that build out. Here we're putting some LED uh, strips on here to help cure the uh, IPA as it goes through the loop. The LED strips that I'm using, I actually bought them on eBay and they came with these splitter adapter and it just plugs in. And uh, I wasn't able to find that on Amazon. I'll look and see if we get some updated ones now. Now, because the pump is on the bottom, it's basically sucking and pulling a vacuum and it was crushing the silicone tubing here. So temporarily, I'm going to put a piece of vinyl tubing in here to prevent that tube crush that's going on and get the system to function so I can test it. Here's the current setup. I don't like, I don't like this. This is a really long hose and it's 
it's ungainly and it's difficult and it gets heavy when it fills with IPA. And then of course I'm having this screen crush thing which I temporarily fixed here. But I'm also having a little bit of screen uh, tube crush here in the silicone. So what's happening is that the pump is basically pulling a vacuum too hard and the silicone tubing can't handle that. So what we really want is a positive pressure. So if we took the pump and we moved it to the top and we moved these two elements down, then we would have the system would be pressurized instead of holding a vacuum or pulling a vacuum by the pump. So we're going to switch everything, put the pump on the top and see if that solves some of our problems. And it's also going to fix this long tube issue right here, which I'm going to be happy about. I'm going to move and reconfigure things again. We'll put the pump back up into the top of the system. And then that will allow the system to be pressurized and we won't have any tube crush going on this time. So the one disadvantage about this with the pump is that the inlet of the pump is, you know, on the left side here and it's farthest away from the form wash station. But I'll have to deal with that. And I deal with that by putting on a piece of vinyl tubing here at the top. And then we'll splice in a piece of silicone tubing to have some flexibility um, to draw it out of the form wash machine. Other than that, everything else is the FEP or the silicone tubing. And I'm just redoing the wiring here to plug everything in. That power strip has an on and off switch. This is the form wash. You can see the stuff's a little bit cloudy, but plenty clean enough for the system. It works very well. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. The FEP tubing is allowing better UV exposure. The system is pressurized so my tubes aren't collapsing. I probably could use some more strips of LED lighting here. This hanger probably needs to be redone so that it supports the entire coil. The filter housings aren't cracking and breaking on me. And of course I have the drain vents on the bottom that are gonna help me change the filters. I have this carbon filter here that I'm curious to try out. I don't know if it's gonna contaminate the IPA or not. If you've ever tried one of these carbon filters in a system like this, leave that in the comments below, whether you recommend that or not, if it even makes a difference, I have no idea. Um, or if you have any other ideas about additional modifications to make to this system, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Don't forget to get one of these silicone work mats, custom silicone work mats that I make right here in the shop. If you haven't seen that video about how these are made, I'm still willing to make a few more of these and you can order these and I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for all the comments and suggestions from the previous video. Immensely helpful, helps the community. Leave more comments below, thanks. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Bots and Design. I'm now on Blue Sky and unfortunately still on Instagram. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.